welcome to my channel. Y'all, I'm back tonight making some little pouches for my craft fair. So I purchased this faux leather at Hobby Lobby. It comes on a roll and this week it is on sale from $4.99 half price. So it made it $2.50 a roll. So I figured with the amount of that I have left over after making one pouch, you can do two pouches with one roll. So it's actually going to cost you about a dollar twenty-five for your for the material just to make it. Then only other things you're going to need is you're going to need a nice nylon zipper, and I just put these cute pom poms on here for just because they're fun and pretty. I did purchase my pom poms on Amazon, and I there was eighteen in here, and I got them all for like. I think it was like $18. So it pretty much makes the each keychain, each pom pom, a dollar a piece. So, anyway, so I've already made this one. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And then this is the first one I made. And so I thought I would bring you along with this one. I think this one is super cute, too. So I've already cut my piece of faux leather. Now, this is eight and a quarter inches, and this is the width of that roll and this I cut it at 10 inches okay so the eight and a quarter by 10 inches is the dimensions of this and we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna install a zipper and on the 10 inch side is where we're gonna have the fold so on the eight and a quarter inch side is where we're going to be putting our zipper so what you're gonna do this is the eight and a quarter inch side you're going to you're going to lay it flat and I'm using this zipper and it is too long but um, I wanted it to kind of coordinate with my fabric so I didn't have a shorter one um, I also too before I get going I do buy my zippers on Amazon as well and you can just search nylon zippers and you will see tons of them come up and um yeah i think i paid say less than 20 dollars for probably 60 zippers so it was super inexpensive very affordable so anyway now i'm going to take my zipper and this is the top this is the teeth this is the zipper teeth in here and this is the top where the zipper pull is so you want to do it teeth side down and I'm just gonna line it up against my, my piece of faux leather, teeth side down. And I'm just gonna use my Clover Wonder Clips that I got, I got mine at um, Michael's years ago. And they are wonderful, they are still kicking probably after 10 years, they still work. So I'm just gonna use my Wonder Clips to hold it in place along the, along the zipper. Now we're gonna take it to the sewing machine and sew our first seam. Okay, so I've got my faux leather and my zipper all lined up on my sewing machine. Then I'm using my zipper foot and I've got it uh, all lined up, the edge of my zipper foot. On the outside, I've got it lined up like with the edge of my faux leather. And then this part of my zipper foot, this part over here, it's kind of running against that plastic, which is where the, the zipper teeth are. And then my needle is gonna go right down in the center. So I'm gonna give it a couple little stitches. I'm gonna do a quick back stitch. And then I'm gonna slowly take my time going up against the zipper, trying to go as straight as I can. Don't rush on your zippers, just take your time. And then I'm just going to go so it's straight down, trying to keep my zipper right along the edge of my uh, faux leather. Try to keep it as straight as I can. When I come to the end, give it a little back stitch, kind of seal those stitches in. And then I'm gonna pull this off. Got a string there. I'm gonna pull that off and clip this off. There's my strings. 
I got to get rid of those things. Okay. So now you've got half of one side of your zipper almost completely installed. So when you do teeth side down when you're fold when you're sewing it, you're gonna when you when you push it up, the teeth will be up and it's gonna be on the right side of your material. So I'm just gonna use a little clip and I'm gonna kind of finger press this, kind of hold, push this down because I need to do a quick top stitch along the edge. I'm going to stick a wonder clip right there. And you want to try to pull the zipper teeth away from the edge of the materials or the faux leather. I'm just going to do this, just kind of hold it in place. You want to make sure that the teeth, the zipper is going to be facing down. And I'm gonna line this up. Now my zipper is gonna be on this side this time. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my put my presser foot down and I'm gonna sew about an eighth of an inch away from the edge of my faux leather. If you wanna seal it in with a back stitch, go for it. And if you pull that teeth, zipper foot away from, or the zipper away from the edge, it keeps you from accidentally sewing it and it tries to keep it as even as you can. I am using polyester thread. I like the Guterman brand. And on my stitch length is two and a half. Just a straight stitch. Okay, now I'm at the end. Get this trimmed up. And there you go. Got one side of my zipper all in. You're probably thinking, oh, that was close. Sorry about that, y'all. And now we're going to install our zipper on the other side. I'm gonna go out just a little bit so I can show you. So what you need to do, because we've installed a half a zipper, okay? What you're gonna do, oops, got some strings on this side. You're gonna bring this side up. Let me get these off. I want it to look nice. So what you're gonna do is bring this up and you're gonna line it up with the edge. See how that's lined up on the edge? I'm going to use some clips and I'm just going to line it up. Just try to keep it straight as I can. And you want to make sure this faux leather is right on the edge of your with your zipper. And then we're going to sew the other part of our zipper and see how nicely the side is. If it shifts a little bit, just fix it now. Now's the time. So I want it, you really want to make sure these sides are even, as even as you can get them. I'm going to put a clip over here too. So it kind of holds that in place. So now I'm going to flip mine over because I like to sew with the zipper on the top, but that's my preference. Let me move my zipper foot again. I always have to switch it because I feel awkward if it's not on the appropriate side for me. So now what I'm gonna do is remove that first, that first clip, making sure everything is nice and nice and even. I'm gonna get this up here lined up just like I did the other one. Put my presser foot, I'm gonna get that down. Let me make sure, let me get you up here again. Do a couple stitches, back stitch, and then I'm going to sew all the way down to the end, holding everything in place. I know that by me showing you every little bit of this sewing, it kind of takes a little bit more time on the video, um, but I like to try to show you 
in real time how to do this because there are a lot of people that don't know how. So hopefully this is helpful. Getting to that end, gonna back stitch and then pull it out. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and remove my clips. this trimmed okay so now this is what it looks like looking like a little like you could like a cylinder at this point take your zipper unzip it you're gonna stick your hand up in there and unzip it all the way and you kind of flip this out and now we're gonna top stitch down the other side so I'm just gonna use my clips, kind of hold it down. And then I'm going to get ready to top stitch this side. Okay, I'm gonna top stitch and I will be right back. Okay, coming to the end. And I get down there, back stitch. And now that other side is all ready. So now I, you have now, at this point, completely installed your zipper. these strings off so now it looks like this got another string here let me get this off okay now flip it back out where the pretty sides are together and this is really important okay make sure you take your zipper pull and you pull that zipper up on this side of your of your material because if you don't have if you have your zipper over here you're going to mess up your whole bag you might as well toss this in the trash so what I'm gonna do now there's the top of my zipper I'm gonna make sure that's at the top make sure my sides my sides are even so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna put a clip up here at the top and I'm going to line these sides up. I love the feel of this faux leather. It's so, this side is so soft, so it's so simple to work with. Okay, on this one, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to clip. I'm going to make sure that zipper is together. And I'm going to make sure my sides are all together. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna sew a seam on each side. Let's get back in here. Let's get busy. Okay, taking off my top, my top clip, I think I'll just move it over a little bit. Just so I keep that closed there. And actually I'm gonna remove my zipper foot and put my other foot on. And I'm gonna get my strings ready, my thread. Someone told me in the past, why do you hold a string? Eh, it's just a habit. I do know it's thread. So no need to correct me. Okay, I'm gonna put my presser foot down and I'm gonna sew about a quarter of an inch in or maybe a little more, three eighths maybe. I'm gonna sew it and I'm sewing over that, that that uh zipper teeth and you're going to do it slow slow so slowly that way then you don't break a needle and if you've got that top those top stitches all fixed up in there and ready to roll just so straight down the side this is a beginner friendly project y'all i'm going to get to the end i'm going to back stitch 
And then we got one side nicely sewed up here. Okay, I'm gonna remove the clip on this side. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna flip it over so I can use, start at the zipper on the top. I'm going to keep my presser foot right where I want it. Okay, I like the back stitch. I'm gonna take off my clips and hold it down nice and flat. And I'm gonna sew straight down the side. My pouch is almost done, y'all. Let's get a little back stitch in there. Okay, and I'm gonna sew off the end. Okay, so this is a this is a step that you don't have to do, but I'm going to do it because I think it will make it look nicer. What I'm going to do, and at this point too, you can also cut off the excess of your zipper on each end, because now your your zipper is installed. So now it's just the the length of your pouch. What I'm gonna do is put this back under my, my machine and I'm gonna put it over onto a zigzag stitch and it's a two inch, two, 2.0 stitch length. And I'm gonna give it a dig, zigzag all the way down because I don't have a serger. So it'd be nice if you, if you have a serger, you, use your serger. Uh, but I don't have one, so I'm just gonna zigzag all the way down. Let me get to the bottom. I'm going to throw that in a little back stitch. And there we go. Trim this off. Trim my strings. And I'm going to zigzag the other side. the last stitches you're going to need to sew on this and your pouch is going to be done. See how simple? Simplest pouch you'll ever make. Quick and easy. You can make up a whole bunch of these in an hour. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to reach down inside and get you out a little bit. Reach outside. Ooh, I love, love, love this. It works. It folds out so well. Doesn't look wrinkled. I'm going to use my scissors to kind of poke out my corners. Look at that. Doesn't that zipper look so pretty? Okay, I'm going to take this and this part of my zipper, I'm going to poke it up where it's on the end. See? And then, there we go, look at that. Perfect little pouch. Okay, so pretty much at this point, you would usually, if you're using fabric, you would iron. But as you see, no need to iron these little faux, faux leather uh, pouches. So all I do is kind of take it, kind of kind of smooth it out. Make sure your zipper is working it. Working well and it looks good. See how that looks? Zipper is all sewed down. You got a nice top stitch and it goes all the way down. Now I'm going to grab myself a quick little pom pom. And I think, let's see, I've got another pink one. But since it's got pink accents, I think I'll do pink. And then I'm just going to take my, the edge of this, if I can get it open, and I'm just going to attach it through the hole, and voila, you've got yourself a faux leather pouch. It can be used for cosmetics, it can be used for pencils, it can be used for anything, and this also is a keychain. 
This is how I'm going to be selling them at my craft fair. This is my next craft fair idea. I sell pouches every year at my craft fair, but I've never done them in faux leather. So that's why I thought, you know what? I am going to make them in faux leather and I'm gonna quit hoarding my faux leather rolls. And I actually bought these three at Hobby Lobby yesterday, but I've got some more. So I'm gonna quit hoarding them and I'm going to make pouches out of them and I'm going to sell these for my craft fair. Now let's talk pricing. So I got my roll for $2.50 because they were $4.99 at half off. And um, so I got it for $2.50. You can get two pouches out of one roll and then you have a little leftover where you could probably make some bows. So save the scraps, make some bows. Um, but anyway, so it's about $2.50 for two, so $1.25. My zipper, I buy them like for like $18, $20 max, and it's like 60 zippers. I buy them in bulk on Amazon, um, and so those really did not cost me much. Now these, these little pom-poms are 18 in a bag, and I paid, I think like 17 or 18 dollars for it on Amazon. So they make them a dollar, that makes them a dollar a piece, but I think they're a darling, darling, darling little um, addition to your zipper pouches. And so I really think that I probably put the max of $2.50 to make one. And so I think that for my craft fair, I'm going to sell these at eight dollars or nine dollars let me know what you think if you think eight dollars is a good price or ten dollars it's going to be probably eight dollars i'm thinking that's a decent price for these um doesn't take long to make it and it's inexpensive to make so let me know what you think leave me a comment below and let me know what you think the best price for these will be i'm excited to make some more got three I think um, it's Friday evening. I think that I will sew a few more just so I can have my little stash of my little faux leather pouches. And that way I don't have to worry about having to make them again. I'll have them ready to roll. Anyway, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great Friday evening. And um, yeah, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you like what you see. I'd really appreciate your subscription. And if you and um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that little bell so you get notified when I upload videos. Anyway, thank you so so much for watching. I love each and every one of you, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye, y'all.